Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be um, a weekly reading June 8th through the 14th. Please remember that it is general and the timing is flexible. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs, and it may not resonate with every Taurus, so feel free to check out your other signs. I do have a video playlist link in the description box um, that you can review. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, my info is also in the description box. And then the last thing that I have for you, I am doing a giveaway at the end of each month. I'm giving away two personal readings. Um, I will uh, announce the winners um, with a monthly video. I'm getting ready um, to do the video for the uh, May winners, which will be tomorrow. And uh, what else do I have for you? Oh, to enter, you just have to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, you just have to like and comment, okay? So feel free to enter. I want to say thank you, give you a big thank you for all your beautiful comments, your subscribes, your likes, your shares, um, all that you do. And um, I do read all of your comments, and I just want to say thank you. I appreciate all the love. Um, a lot of times I just dive right into the reading and I don't uh, give a thank you. So thank you, Taurus, and let's get started here. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Taurus is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Taurus the accurate messages and details Ooh, they need uh, for week June 8th through the 14th. I pray that this gives them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. Amen. So I'm going to pull here um, two cards. This is from the um, Energy Oracles, and I'm going to pull a couple tarot cards, or tarot cards, <laughs> romance angel cards, and then after that we'll get to the tarot portion. So let's get two cards for Taurus. Now this is a weekly reading, so anything goes. This could be about love, finances, career, family uh, matters, friends, um, however it resonates with you. Um, I know for a lot of you it can be about love because um, I do read your comments, but I always pull uh, two romance angels in the weeklies so that we can pull them some love energy. Okay, so, all right. So the cards that you have here, the first card you have is Envy, okay? So there may be somebody around you um, who has some Envy, okay? I don't know if that's going to be a good or a bad thing, okay? It's not the most positive energy, but there may be somebody here. Um, I feel here this is, you know, even though Envy can be kind of more of a negative energy, I feel here the envy here is more so that somebody is seeing you in a different light than they saw before and in some sort of way it's making them think okay it's making them think um, almost like you you motivate them or they wish they could be like you or but the good thing about this card is you're having an impact on somebody. And um, now some people, they can just have that envious, jealous energy, um, but not everyone here. So I feel like there is somebody around you who has some envy, okay? And you're making them think and you're making them, um, you know, think like, how did they get there? Or how did they get what they have? Okay, that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. Now the second card that I have is the Patience card, okay? So I feel here this is an indication there may be something that you're waiting for um, or something that you're trying to balance out, um, but there's something here with timing, okay? And I feel here the message here is you're going to need to be patient. Whatever it is, whatever you're wanting, you're wishing, you're hoping for, um, you know, you're going to just need to have some patience, okay? Now, the next card that you have here um, from the Romance Angels are cards, okay? We have Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? 
So I feel like if this is a love interest or somebody that you have a love attachment for, could be a family member, friend, what have you here, somebody here um, I feel like wants to reconcile with you, okay? Could be this person who had the envy, okay? Seeing um, things in a different light now. And then we have here, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I feel here this person is really wanting to come in and make the effort. Now I wanna say, Taurus, energies can always be reversed here, okay? It could be um, you who's wanting to reconcile or make the effort here. So take uh, the messages, how they resonate with you. All right, so let's... Um, get into the tarot portion here. I also feel here too, if you're waiting for someone, um, I'm almost getting here too, um, putting aside the envy. I feel here, it's almost like um, you're waiting for someone to make the effort here okay, to reconcile, okay, or you're trying to be patient here, or you're wanting this person to see the light, is what I'm getting, and it could be that their energy, maybe their energy is somebody who has a very, uh, or could have an envious or jealous energy here, and you're wanting them to see the light, okay, hoping um, that they're going to change and make the effort, okay? So I feel here, you know, Spirit is saying, you know, you're going to need to have patience with this person, okay? If you are waiting for someone, if you're not waiting for someone to do something, then by all means, you don't need to be patient. Okay. All right, so let's see what your weekly messages are, Taurus. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus, June 8th through the 14th? June 8th through the 14th. Let's get three cards, please. We have the Page of Swords. Ooh, the Five of Cups. What's going on here? The Four of Swords. I definitely feel here there was some type of separation or loss here, there's distance between you and this person. Two of Wands, someone needs to make a decision here. Eight of Wands, okay, Somebody's, uh, somebody is returning from the past. I see commu communication coming in here. Mm, and then we have Justice here. Bottom of the deck, uh, we had Hermit. Okay, could be dealing with Virgo energy here. Yeah, I was talking about this, this Envy card. I feel like somebody you're dealing with um, is seeing things in a different light now, okay? They may have been envious or jealous in the past, or it just may be that um, now they're rethinking things is what I'm getting here. And I feel like they're going within here, okay? You can see the snake here. They're trying to be very careful and methodical about what they're going to do, using their inner light, using their guidance uh, to move forward, okay? And they have to be careful here. You can see here, this person steps this way or backwards, they're going to fall off that cliff, or there's a snake in front of them. So I feel like this person's very carefully um, using their intuition to guide them at this time. Because I do feel here they're seeing things differently and they may have been envious or even jealous in the past or I feel here it's not even that energy, it's just that they're rethinking things and they're seeing things in a different light, okay? So I feel here this is where the patience comes in because this person is really trying to use their inner guidance here, whether it's you or somebody you're dealing with. The first two cards that we have is we have the Page of Swords and we have the Two of Wands. So I feel here this is, um, 
whoever you're dealing with, this could be a younger energy. So if you're dealing with a family member or a son or somebody who is young or younger energy, okay, could be somebody just who is very youthful here, okay, could be an Aquarius, um, Libra, or Gemini. And then you have fire energy here, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So I feel here there's a decision here that needs to be made here. And I feel like this person that you're dealing with, like I said, could be younger energy. Um, they could be a little shy or aloof. Um, or it could just be this energy that, you know, if it's love, you know, they may have had this energy before where they just wanted to be single, okay? Um, and I feel here now, like I said, they're thinking differently. I feel like they're trying to make a decision about their path here, like I said here with the Hermit card, right? This can be you as well, but I definitely feel here there's some decision here this person's trying to make, okay? For a lot of you, it's going to be this reconciliation. can be re reconciliation even if this is not a lover, okay? It could be... Uh, you know, a, a family situation, a friend situation. Because I do see in the past here with the Five of Cups, there was some loss and some grief um, between you and this person. And I feel here with the Four of Swords, okay, there's definitely some distance between the two of you. So I feel here this person is really thinking about, um, you know, this grief and loss and this distance here. Again, um, Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. But I do see here, um, there is going to be some movement in the situation here with the Eight of Wands. I do see here some um, fast-moving energy coming in here. There's going to be a shift. I feel like this person, you're going to hear from this person, they're going to make the effort here, this communication coming in. Um, you know, I already talked about distance. This person could actually live at a distance from you, okay? I feel like this energy is moving away from this person that you're dealing with. So there is the possibility that you either moved away from this person or I'm getting that, um, you know, you may actually be moving. You may be moving your home away from this person. That's not going to be for all of you, okay? But there is going to be a change in this energy. I feel there's going to be a shift in this energy. This person is going to come back and they are going to try and reconcile and mend the situation. We have here four of swords. And if I didn't say, it could be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Four of swords and the justice card here. All right, so this is about things coming into balance. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um... For some of you, this could actually be, you know, a, a person, somebody you were married to, somebody that um, you had a divorce, okay, could have had a previous divorce with, could have been an ex-husband or an ex-wife. I also feel here, too, this person's thinking about it, and they know that they need to make things right here. I feel like that's the justice here. You know, I feel with this envy energy here, they the, things weren't right in the past, and they did something that was not right here. Um, and, you know, I almost feel here with this Page of Swords energy, you know, look at this Page of Swords. It's almost like he or she um, kind of look a little bit mischievous here, okay? They're a little bit aloof, almost like they're not telling you everything, okay? Because they got their sword down, okay? I feel like almost like they're keeping the communication to themselves or have in the past, okay? They're not exactly uh, yet coming forward with that communication. Okay, so let's look at these cards. So you have the Hermit card like I talked about. Then you have the Page of Wands. So definitely somebody's coming in here with some communication. Um, some passionate communication too, so, or some, some, they're very passionate about it. So definitely this could be a love interest. If it's not a love interest, this could also, I'm getting this younger energy. 
So this could be um, younger energy, someone that you're dealing with who is very youthful or just younger than you. All right. We have the strength card could be dealing with a Leo here. All right. I'm getting here too. This person's really trying to, to uh, get the courage. Okay for this communication to reach out to you. We have the Queen of Cups here. Could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. Okay. I feel like they're trying to control their emotion here. Okay. Trying to be strong, get the courage. Um, because I do feel here that you have been very kind to them. And I feel like this is a situation where um, things didn't go right in the past. Um, I keep going back to that MV card. Something wasn't right here. And I feel here that now, and they know that. They know that you were very kind and very giving to them. And look, here we have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like they have some fears about coming forward. I feel like they're, gonna, they're not exactly sure how you're going to receive them. Okay, so they're feeling a little stuck. They're feeling a little feel fearful here. Again, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But you do have here the um, star card. Could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. But I feel like this person is hopeful. Um, and I feel like there's going to be some healing around this when this person comes around uh, to try and uh, reconcile and make the effort in the situation. So I feel this is, is a situation that's going to bring you some healing here and some justice. As I definitely feel like there was some grief in the past um, with this situation. And I actually feel like some of you were trying to get away from this person, okay? That it was that hurtful is what I'm getting. And I don't know why, uh, well, I mean, Spirit's telling me here is kind of a different message, but it's not going to be for everyone. I feel like almost like um, there was a situation where uh, there it could have been a, a child custody, and um, this person took, got custody, or tried to take your son or son away or your daughter, okay, of this younger energy is what I'm getting as well. Like I said, that's not going to be for everyone. Okay, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus for June 8th through the 14th? Wow, they're already coming out. Oh, there was one hiding there. Yeah, oh gosh. Okay. So the first card you have is accelerated motion. Okay, I feel like this person's coming in pretty quickly here. That's the energy here with the Eight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like this is going to happen pretty quickly, uh, which, you know, this is the June 8th through the 14th, so that is pretty quickly coming in here. I'm also getting here, so the next card you have is temptation, and I want you to be careful. Because with the acceleration card, the, the message I just get, got from Spirit is I feel like they may try to, it's like, I feel like I'm getting the message here. They may try to pull the wool over your eyes here. So just be very cautious with this person. Um, because the energy here with the temptation um, is not healthy here is what I'm getting, okay? And I feel here that when this person comes back to make the effort here, okay, and, and like I said, I felt the energy from this first card, this MV card, there was something just not right, okay. This card person comes back, I feel like Spirit's telling you that you're going to re be repeating an old cycle, okay. Um, that you're going to be going back to the past, this person's going to tempt you, and it may not be healthy. And that's all I'm going to say about that is it's 
it's I always say when this card comes out um, you're hitting the repeat button okay so just remember that you may hit the repeat button and go through the same situation all over again with this person whoever it is okay and I feel that way because of this card too this could also be somebody who has addictions okay or narcissistic behavior as well and then the next card that we have is suffering and silence so I feel like this person that you're dealing with you could it, it fell right here with the five of cups this grief and this loss so this is somebody who's already hurt you in the past and I feel like you're almost like you're almost over it right you've already healed you're at the top of the mountain okay you've already done your your grieving and your loss from the situation and now you can see the sunshine and better things to come and boom here comes that person again is what I'm getting okay I feel like this person is going to come back right when you are about to close out a cycle here look you got the destiny card okay so I feel here um for some, I feel like this is going to give you clarity and it's going to be enable you to close out this cycle with this person and finally heal from it here with the star card. From others, I feel here you may be tempted to hit that repeat button and go back um, and kind of repeat those same cycles with this person again. It's going to be your free will and your choice here. So I'm going to pull... Um, a few angel answer cards and see what comes out all right thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for taurus what messages do you have for taurus june 8th through the 14th what is the guidance let's get two more let's get one more okay so the first card you have is ask your angels so I feel here like I said there's going to be this temptation with this person from the past and I feel here your angels are saying don't be afraid to ask them to help you to give you guidance here they'll give you guidance through your thoughts and your feelings we have here there's something better so I feel like spirit is telling you there is something better up ahead and that's what I was saying here with this card that you're You've already gone through, gone through all this heartache, this grief. Um, you're at the top of the mountain getting ready to start something new and boom, this person comes back. Okay, I feel like they're telling you you're going to have something better come along um, than this, this same cycle that's coming back. Okay, because look, the next card that you have is Big Happy Changes. They're telling you it's in your destiny here for something bigger, something greater, um, and something better here. So I feel here this is about closing out this cycle with this person, okay? Some of you may go back and hit that repeat button, but some of you may not, okay? All right, Taurus, I hope you gained some clarity from this reading. Um, again, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment, I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.